Welcome to this tutorial on how to build a test summarizer app with Mantium. We're going to be doing this using the Mantium no code platform and let's get to it. So here is the Mantium no code platform. Uh, to get here, navigate on your browser to app.mantiumai.com. Uh, create an account or sign in if you have an account already. Uh, after doing that, navigate to prompt. That's where we'll be creating our prompt to build this text summarizer app. Uh, but before that, we need to ensure that uh, the OpenAI key is connected to the Mantium app since we are going to be building this using the OpenAI GPT-3 model. So I'll simply navigate to AI provider and here is where you want to connect your key uh, to the Mantium platform. Uh, so paste your key here if you haven't, then add it. So that will show that you've connected with this uh, green icon which shows that you've connected. After doing this, we then want to start building the uh, prompt. So Mantium also supports other AI providers such as Koye, AI21 Labs, and the open source GPTJ model for the Mantium model. Uh, you can connect their API key using the same method, and I'll provide a link in the description below. So let's get to building. Uh, navigate back to prompt on that AI manager tab, and you want to click on add a new prompt. Uh, this is a list of all the prompts that are built, and I want to build a new one. So you click on add a new prompt, and this is where we'll begin to create our prompt. We'll provide the prompt details, parameter settings, and then the prompt text body uh, to build this text summarizer app that takes an input and then summarizes that. The first thing I want to do here is give my prompt a name and provide it a description. This is just to accurately describe my prompt so that I can easily recognize that uh, in the list of my prompt. Feel free to provide your own uh, name and description. For me, I'll say the name of my app is AI Text Summarizer and then I'll begin to add the description, which is simplify and summarize using OpenAI completion. After providing the name and the description, I'll go right ahead to provide the uh, parameter settings, which involve choosing a provider, choosing a particular endpoint and the model. So since we are working with the OpenAI GPT-3 model, I'll select OpenAI model, and then I'll select an endpoint for this use case. OpenAI supports a number of use cases, but for this particular use case, it's a completion use case, and I'll leave a link in the description below to read more about OpenAI's endpoint. So I'll select completion, which will take in a body of text and then generate a completion for that. OpenAI does provide uh, this model in form of engines, and I'll go right ahead to select the DaVinci engine. So I'll also leave a link in the description to read more about OpenAI's model. Uh, then after this, I'll begin to put the prompt text which is uh, the body of a prompt. And if you don't know what a prompt is, a prompt is a string containing descriptions or examples and patterns of a language task. Uh, in this case, it will contain examples of complex paragraphs and then corresponding summary. Since that's what we want the model to do, we want the model to take complex paragraph and then provide summary for that. So we we'll begin to show the model a few examples in what we call the few short learning approach. I'll also leave a link in the description below if you'd like to read more about prompt. So I'll paste my prompt and this prompt I'll also provide for you in the description so you can copy and paste that while building. So let's take a look at the prompt. Let's examine it. I started this prompt by saying this is a summarization application. Given a test, it provides a summary of that text. So here are some examples. I'm basically describing my task to the model. So here is a complex paragraph and then here is the corresponding summary. So I provided about uh, five examples, which will be enough for the model to learn from in the few short learning approach. So after this, I'll provide the uh, parameter settings for response length and then temperature. So let's do that. I'll set my response length to 100. The response length determines the length of the response we get back from the model. So I'll move to set my temperature values rather. So that's 0.6. The temperature value is a value between 0 to 1. It's a way to control the creativity of the response we get from the model, a 1 being a very creative and 0 being a less creative. So for this use case, I want something in the middle, then I set 0 0.6. After that, I'll set the stop sequence. And for this stop sequence, I will click on add stop sequence to add the stop sequence. So that's three uh, pound sign. And if you look at my prompt, I have the same stop sequence right here. So I have the stop sequence after every example, and the stop sequence is a way of telling the model where to stop its generation. So I've provided the parameter settings uh, for my application and then the prompt for this application, which involves different examples of summary. 
So the next thing for me to do is to test this application. So I'll provide a particular input of complex paragraph and I'll test that to get a summarized version. So for this use case, I have this uh, input. So I have a couple of sentences that I want to summarize. I'll also provide a link to this in the description so you can uh, grab that and then try to reproduce this. So let's hit the test run button and this would execute and we'll get back the response, which is the summarized version of this input. So if you read the response, it's a summarized version of this input. In summary, charity is a universal duty, and it goes on to summarize this input. You can uh, grab a body of text and you summarize that with this application. So the next thing for us to do is to deploy this application. So I navigate to the uh, top right corner and hit the deploy button. Hitting the deploy button, Mantum will spin up a single page web application for you to interact with this uh, application that you've built. So you can also share this single page uh, web application with your friends for them to test out, for them to provide a body of text and then get summarized version of that body of text. So let's hit the deploy button and to deploy, to successfully deploy this application, we also need to provide the following details. So feel free to give it a name, description, author name, and then you hit the deploy button. So for my application, I'll say the name is AI Text Summarizer and also give it a particular description and the author name, I'll set that to my name. Uh, also, you want to make sure you have this checked, uh, add input field, and also make sure you click on public, live, and then click on, I have followed my provider go live requirement. So after doing this, you can hit the deploy button to get the single page web application. Wow, just like that, we have a single page web application where we can input a paragraph and then get the summary of that. Using the same paragraph, I'll paste that here and then execute to get the summarized version of that. Feel free to click the execute button multiple times uh, because due to the stochastic nature of uh, natural language models, it is possible that you may receive a different result the next time you run this prompt. So in this tutorial, we learned how to uh, build a text summarizer with the OpenAI GPT-3 using the Mantium no-code platform. So grab this link, share with your friends for them to test out, for them to provide uh, input and then get summary of that. That said, uh, if you need any help trying to build this application, uh, feel free to join us on Discord uh, by scanning this barcode. I will be there to provide any help you need, any guidance you need to uh, build any AI application. I look forward to having you as part of the community.